the pleasant and gentle sound of birdsong in the Tashkent night. But who is going to take flight in Group H of the AFC Champions League 2021? It's match day three in the East region, and this is a very interesting group. The permutations are most intriguing. As things currently stand, it is all to play for in terms of chasing down top spot and also trying to secure as strong a second place finish in the group as possible. There is one team that seems rather out of touch at the moment, and that's Tampanese Rovers of Singapore. But the other teams, John Book, Hyundai Motors, Gamba Osaka and Chingre United, well, they are all keeping an eye on the passage to the knockout stage of the Champions League. It is rather complicated because only the top side advances. This is how things currently look, courtesy of John Book Motors' victory just moments ago against Tampanese Rovers. And when I say victory, I mean victory with a capital V, nine goals to nil the margin. That means we have a meeting between the second and third place teams in the group, Chingrai United and Gamba Osaka. It is a team from Japan that sits in second place, just a point below them, the team from Thailand. It's the first time that these sides have ever had the pleasure of making each other's acquaintance. And it's a great pleasure too to have your company wherever in the world it is that you're joining this match from. Whatever time of day, whatever time of night, or whatever time in between. Lovely to have your company. Ollie Hogben here, and I shall be bringing you all of the action. And this is at the Bunyodkor Stadium in Tashkent, built in September of 2012. It seats over 30,000. Back when saying things like that used to mean something. Home of the Uzbekistan national team. And home tonight to this meeting between Chingra United and Gamba Osaka. Familiar face of Masoud Tufalier, the referee, who refereed the fixture between Frontale and Beijing Guan yesterday. That was a high scoring affair. Nothing really in Group H has been high scoring until the win today for John Book Motors. We'd waited for lots of goals and we got them all in one game. Many of them scored by one player, Gustavo. So is that going to be the kind of thing that enlivens this group now that goal difference could become so very important? Or is this going to be a cagey and tight contest between two teams who are focused more on avoiding defeat than they are on the acquisition of three points. Well, we're going to find that out in just a few moments as this contest gets underway in the AFC Champions League of 2021. It's an unfamiliar look to the competition as necessitated by the most unusual of circumstances globally. But what it has done is given us the benefit of match after match after match for those of you who enjoy watching the AFC Champions League, I imagine you've cleared your diaries and are doing very little apart from watching the AFC Champions League right now. And why not? Because you're getting some grand entertainment in this East region, taking place in Central Asia, in the Silk Road city of Tashkent, the largest in the region, and an ancient and historic trading stop-off point along that route from the east to the west. Well, one thing is clear, Chingrai United are here to contend. They very nearly upset John Bud Motors in the first game. It was the narrowest of victories from a much bigger side. They then went on to beat Tampanese Rovers with a crucial goal right towards 
the final moments of the match that has really kept them alive in this group. Yes, taking on and beating Gamba Osaka, that is going to be a huge, huge demand on these players. But so far, they have illustrated that they do love a good challenge. Making their way out onto the pitch, the team that won their first ever Thai League title in 2019. And they're taking on the team that won the AFC Champions League in 2008. One of Asia's strongest clubs, Gamba Osaka, a team with a great and rich history going back to the corporate days of Japanese football. They take on a very new team, a team that was only created 12 years ago the team that's made up for lost time by winning the FA Cup in Thailand on several occasions and racing up through the divisions. most pleasing and strangely tranquil sound as the players line up for the official socially distanced photographs. And a Gamba Orsica team that is almost entirely rotated from the last game. Following their near upset of John Book Motors in the first match, Chingrai beat uh, Tampanese Rovers 1-0 with a goal from Sivakorn Tiatrakun, who starts today. The experienced Brina Sosa at the back is going to need to be on top form against the Gamba Osaka attack. And his fellow countryman, the veteran striker Bill, hasn't scored in this season's AFC Champions League, but he hit 18 goals in 28 games in the league last season. Ahmed al Kaf in charge of this contest. Masanobu Matsunami has rotated all but one player from the starting 11 against John Book Motors. Only Kim Jung Gwon keeps his place. It's a great opportunity for the likes of Kei Ishikawa in goal, who'll be hoping to be busy, and for Wellington Silva, who barely starts any games and who has only featured in stoppage time so far in the ACL this season. Dai Tsukamoto, the 20 year old up front, has never scored a goal for the first team. On the substitutes bench for Chingrai United, the prospect of Felipe Amorim, who certainly can come on and create and indeed finish chances, though he hasn't been doing that a great deal domestically of late. For Gamba Osaka, it is essentially the first team from the last game that's on the bench. It's only Katanari Ichimi who stays there, and there is the uh, disappointment for Gamba Osaka at the uh, continued injury of Hiroki Fujiharu, who had to be taken off against Chonbuk Motors. contest uh, between uh, Chingra United of Thailand and Gamba Osaka of Japan begins in Group H of the 2021 AFC Champions League. And a look at Leandro Pereira in the changed white kit of Gamba Osaka. Came on as a sub against Tampanese in the first game and scored in the 88th minute now a chance to start. He was a substitute again against 
Chongbuk. Here is Shu Kurata. That's a super ball early on and almost the opening goal within three quarters of a minute. And it was a Yuji Ono who's yet to really establish himself in the Gambo Osaka team. And Captain Shu Kurata with a delightful delivery. A lot of space for Ono. Team for Qingrai United is uh, Natawut Jalunbut, uh, who's just recently joined the club on loan. So didn't feature in their domestic campaign. Just about dealt with at the back. The experienced Bruno Sosa leaves it. And a look at Masanobu Matsunami, the man in charge of Gamba Osaka. Took over very recently after the departure of the club legend Tsuneyasu Miyamoto. Probably always enduringly most famous to the footballing world because of his mask at the 2002 World Cup. And there is. Bruno Sosa, 33-year-old from the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais, as we look at Aloncorn at Tongham. And there the veteran Bill Rossima. Mancio to use his uh, more formal name. <laughs> With the restart, the 29 year old Wasan Homsen played 13 times in the most recent. Thai League One season, which was a disrupted and elongated season, a protracted campaign as a result that saw Qingrai United finish fourth but secure AFC Champions League football next season by way of their lifting the Thai FA Cup, which they are rather specialists at doing. No doubt that that is a foul on Yuji Ono. Really brought down by Nata <laughs> Yuki Yamamoto, 23 year old recent graduate of Kwansei Gakuin University. Motors delivery and it is quite a good delivery too it was almost put in but uh, it looks as though it's uh, a foul anyway Yuji Ono it was who was uh, considered to have challenged Sivakorn Teatrakun too aggressively but chances early on for Gamba Osaka, as expected. Good at that. Kim Young Won, the only player who remains from the team that drew two all with John Book Motors. Thriller of a game that it was with Gamba Osaka going down. 2-0 in the first 15 or so minutes and then fighting back courtesy of the mercurial Patrick. And he's a Shunya Suganuma. He 
Jota Sato making his AFC Champions League debut. There, Sivakorn Teatro Kun, the player who got that goal in the 87th minute against Tampanese Rovers that has really lifted the spirits of Ching Rai. Well, he will do that, Bill. Perfectly happy to engage physically. I don't think there can be any remote complaint about that. What a season he had in the league. 18 goals in 28 games. He could have a real aggressive physicality that makes life quite unpleasant for the defenders. Played out by Kinsuke Kurokawa. Came on for the injured Hiroki Fujiharu in the 52nd minute against John Book. Tanasak goes back to Apurat Warawang in the Chingrai goal. Easy one for Kim to get out of harm's reach. But uh, Ekanit Panya is going to be a key creative player down the left flank. He's the player who scored the consolation goal in that loss to John Book. Though it might be a touch cruel to describe it as a consolation goal because it certainly didn't feel like it at the time for them. It felt like a very reputable way back into the contest. Pitiwat, what a good spot for Wasan. Kurokawa. Suganuma. Kinsuke Kurokawa goes to Wellington Silva. Kurokawa. This is good holding of the ball. Yuki Yamamoto. After all that, rather given away and stolen by Ekanit. <laughs> Wrestled back from the captain, uh, Pitiwat Sukchit Tamakun. one would expect from Shingra United. It is very much a, a compact establishment of the team. Cautious, but rightly so. Kurokawa, not a bad delivery. They'll get another opportunity here. Another opportunity has come and gone.
That time, Kurokawa, the player bundled over. Or rather, doing the bundling over, I should say. Well, so far, they haven't really had a great deal of the ball, the team from Thailand. as though it's emerging into one of those parry riposte situations. Waiting for the chance to block and counter punch. Apurat, 25-year-old, and he nearly got into a little bit of a mess. Leandro Pereira, pressure rising. To take rather a long time. Just a couple of goals for him so far this season in J1. He's got a couple of goals in the AFC Champions League. Did score in the 2020 one all draw against Beijing Goan. Poor Beijing Goan, who had such a bruising experience playing a Kawasaki Frontale yesterday. Losing that game 7 0. Albeit tempered by it being essentially a youth team of Beijing Goan. And that's Group I of this 2021 AFC Champions League. It's going to be the first opportunity for Gamba Osaka to send the ball in from the corner. And it will be Yuki Yamamoto to do it. Obvious target would be Kim Yongguan. And in the end, I think it was Yota Sato who jumped most aggressively. Young defender, just 22. And it was a nasty landing, actually, for Tanasak Sisai. Rather got buffeted into uh, Shinapat Leo, who, just to add to the uh, troubles, landed on him. And seems to have jarred his knee as he went to ground. Thirty-one-year-old from uh, Rachimburi, which is about 900 kilometres uh, south and very slightly to the east of. Ching Rai, up in the north. And he's a very key player for this team. The uh, vice-captain. They'll be most relieved to see him on his feet and uh, jogging comfortably to the touchline to come back on. Sit alongside uh, Brina Sosa and have a large role in soaking up the Gamba Osaka pressure if they are to have any success today. The team in the darker colours. And he is likely to be at the heart of it too. It will be Ekanit Banya to take this corner. Coming forward are the centre backs. Tanasak is there and Brine Sosa too. Brine did get a few goals in the league this season. 
and he does jump for it. It's well dealt with by Kei Ishikawa. Wasan Homsen. A stronger spell for Ching Rai. Wellington Silva. Back to Kei Ishikawa, the man who is making his debut in the AFC Champions League. He was part of the Vergalta Sendai squad in 2013 that played in the competition, but he never did play. It's a career backup goalkeeper, Ishikawa, never been a first choice. He's been on the bench 14 times in the league this season, yet to play in J1 for Gamba. Leandro Pereira keeps control of the ball nicely. Centre backs rather getting in each other's way, and as a result, it almost spilled to Yuji Ono, Tanasak, and Benine Sosa. Both had the same idea, really. Now, this is where Bill can be effective. He's good at holding the ball up, <laughs> not so good at delivering it. Wellington Silva. He believes that it should have been his ball. Well, it has to be considered a pleasing opening to the contest for Shingarai United. First card is shown. Yuki Yamamoto. I don't think it is him, it's surely. Yes, it surely has to be Ekanit who has been booked. We'll just get you confirmation of that, but uh, confirmation almost there of a chance for an appreciative Leandro Pereira. Well, one has to say that challenge by Ekanit looks ever more unpleasant every time one glances at it. There is confirmation it was indeed him that was booked. He really was uh, not remotely in control of that challenge. Perhaps an argument that could have been more. Good attack. Who was part of the Gamba Oscar team that won the uh, Champions League in 2008? Oh, that uh, was a remarkable dart into the box from Leandro Pereira. He did well to pressurise, albeit too aggressively in the eyes of the referee. Junior Sosa, let's have another look at it. Here, Sosa suggesting that Leandro Pereira was angling for a penalty kick and uh, Leandro Pereira suggesting that he had a case for one. I'll leave you to chat with yourselves about that. Here is 
Jose Ugiono, who's starting to get a little more space as the game goes on, and this is going to be another yellow card. For Chingra United. Shinapat Leo. Yes, it is a reasonably cynical challenge, isn't it? Player who is just one game away from 100 appearances in the league. Watching Rai United. He was considerably further away from making that challenge on Ugiono. Yuki Yamamoto with the free kick, plenty of space, but just getting a touch on it was Brunier Sosa. It looked as though that was heading for the head of Yota Sato, and here is counter-attacking opportunity. There it was just for a moment, Shunya Tsuganuma interceding. He's going to be at the heart of it, though, as long as he can stay on the pitch, Ekenid Panya. Was booked not so long ago. He does have to watch out that he doesn't lunge in rather out of control. He certainly seems, as one would say colloquially, up for it. Shukurata. Yamamoto, hey, use it. nicely played back and put towards hey, Shukurata. That was a fine chance. Was he onside? No, certainly. He just didn't have the uh, half a yard or so that he probably needed to bring that under control more effectively with his head. He's been such a mainstay, Kurata of Gamba Osaka in their Champions League experiences. Bill losing out to Kim. Fine ball out to Kesuke Kurokawa. He's got to be tempted to hit this. Well stopped and uh, a little assistance fortuitously from Brunier Sosa for Apurat. But he got down to block the ball. Kurokawa has never scored a goal for the senior team. Rather a lot of the veteran striker, Bill. Hasn't he been impressive so far in the AFC Champions League? Kisuke Kurokawa really did make his mark coming on. He plays Fuchiharu. Ishikawa, who made his debut for Gamba in the Emperor's Cup victory against uh, Kwansei Gakuin. It was uh, just over a couple of weeks ago now. Kurokawa. Wellington Silva. Still Wellington Silva with lovely technique. Not a bad delivery either the creativity and the skill that he possesses. Most certainly looks 
more likely that if it is to be anyone, it is to be Gamba Osaka that gets the breakthrough. Brunel Sosa, but there's still a chance for Ching Rai. Itawat moves it back. the moment it certainly does have the feel of a game where the priority is not to throw away any points needlessly there is no guarantee that if you finish second in the group you have safe passage through to the latter stages only three out of five sides will do so it's good strength just behind uh, wellington silver though and safely played behind by Brine sosa Three-year-old was an amateur player until his mid-twenties. He is, as uh, they say, well-travelled. This is his 17th club, but he really did earn his stripes the hard way, playing in the Brazilian lower leagues. He joined Botafogo in 2012, so it's a player who's worked very hard to create a professional football career for himself. To work hard with this delivery. It's a good delivery. It was uh, touched across goal. It was neither one thing nor other really from the Shunya Suganuma. This the uh, opportunity for Keske Kurokawa. Lovely touch to go past Wasan. And then it rebounded back off uh, the Brazilian centre back. Down was Natawood to Jarumbut. We talked about Brunel Sosa making his way up through the leagues. Natawood has uh, very much done that as well. Started out in the uh, third division in Thailand for Krabi and then moved to uh, Ubon in 2018. who joined last year from Sagan Tosu. <laughs> An opportunity for Ching Rai. Chance perhaps to get the central defenders up. Young Yota Sato with the foul. He's only played a few games, Yota Sato, in J1. He's actually never scored a game that he's played in. Hard to blame him for that, though, wouldn't it? Is it going to be Ekanet? It is. And it's well read by Kei Ishikawa. That was decisive goalkeeping. He only got some distance. One suspects from Ishikawa's perspective that a busy evening would be a good evening, as long as he performs well, of course, because he can try to establish himself in the eyes of Masanobu Matsunami. 
which is very difficult to do when you have Masaki Higashiguchi as the first choice goalkeeper. A loss of concentration, perhaps, from Shinapat. Rokawa goes to Wellington Silva. And it will still be a Gamba Osaka ball. to make a decision and move forwards. Wasan. It's another slightly clumsy Gamba Osaka challenge. And they have a concern here. Luigi Orno. He looks as though he's felt something most unpleasant and is wisely just staying where he is. Coming over and keeping a watchful eye as well is Tanasak Sisai. Just keep an eye on Bono, who's in the centre circle, and he just uh, drops down to the ground. It's a very warm evening, that's worth pointing out. And the fixtures do not give players a great deal of respite in between. So if there is any small concern about an injury, then we are seeing, as you'd expect, players taken off in a precautionary sense. Because keeping the squad as fresh as possible is the modus operandi Looks like Kizunadi Ichimi is going to come on for Yuji Ono. So at the moment, Gamba Osaka will have a player down as Yuji Ono continues to receive medical assessment. Now, in the uh, cruelest but most professional way possible, can they? So they being Chingra United, can they punish Gamba Osaka now? Can they turn this to their advantage? No, given away. And there is a counter attacking chance, and that has got to be another card, hasn't it? Shukurata, the player fouled. Now the substitution has been made. Kaznari Ichimi, the player coming on for Yuji Ono. It's the second game in a row that Gamba Osaka have had a player have to go off injured. Ichimi, the uh, only player who was not brought from bench into the first team or the starting 11 for this game. Now he does have his opportunity with around 10 minutes to go until the half time interval. A 
out from Sato to Ishikawa. Shinya Tsuganuma, number 13. Who's used to being an unused sub in J1 and who is playing tonight over a decade after his only previous AFC Champions League appearance. As a half-time substitute in the goalless draw against the uh, Blue Wings. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Just a, a little clip of Wellington Silver there, hard to see. Once more, Suganuma. Oh, what a nice ball there, Leandro Pereira. It's a shooting opportunity, and in the end, it's rather comfortable. Kazunari Ichimi didn't really test Apurat. Pat Leo was part of the Southeast Asian Games winning team in 2017. A few of the uh, Shingarai players enjoying that success. Competition won in Kuala Lumpur. Kurata back to the captain. Jimmy wants the ball and receives the ball. Should be comfortable for Brynäs Sosa, and it is. Much more possession for Ching Rai in the latter portion of this first half. And they've played well so far. It has been Another close game. Not out of the question that they could catch Gamba Osaka out. Wellington Silva seems to go across to the other flank. By Tsukamoto. To uh, Leandro Pereira, and nothing comes of it. And a clear foul from uh, Yuki Yamamoto. And again, a fairly clear cut decision for the referee. It's always far too much of a lunge to make that. One of the uh, graduates of Kwansei Gakuin, the team that Gamba Osaka played a couple of weeks ago in the Emperor's Cup, where the high school teams and the university teams and the amateur teams all mingle with the uh, professional sides. Tsukamoto, Ichimi. As well to keep hold of the ball. Looking for Kurokawa, he's taken a touch and eventually he gets back in the hands of uh, Ampurad, who had to take rather a meandering path through his own penalty area to pick up that ball. To what? Oh, oh. 
Come on, son. It's really been a breakthrough season for KSK could all go up. Played some games for the under-23s last season in J3. Gamba Osaka being one of a small number of teams that have the advantage of having their younger players running out in J3 against some very experienced footballers week after week. Etiwat trying to go over the top. Looking for Ekanit. Given away, rather casual. Here's Bill. Rather loose from both sides. Back with Ekanit, who can never really be accused of being loose. Nukran Kim John wearing number 14. The seven year old who came up through the police terror youth team. Kurata. Well, one thinks back to the really early opportunities for the likes of Ono and uh, later on for Kurata. For Kurokawa, there have been chances for Gamba Osaka. Kurata goes to the back post, it's put in, well, it's not put in, it's put wide by Hichimi with the flag up anyway, but that seemed like an absolute foregone conclusion that he'd slot that in. No doubt uh, about the initial decision being correct. And that probably is something of a relief for Kazunari Hichimi because won't really to have ended up nestled in the back of the net. Six shots on goal from Gamba Osaka, three on target, nothing so far for Chingra United. From their perspective, the job is being done successfully. They're being disciplined. They're not making it particularly easy for their more illustrious opponents, though that is a clear foul on uh, Wellington Silver. Must be ever so careful, Sinapad Leo. Having already been issued a yellow card, oh, there's no need to reach out and do something like that. I mean, the irony being that that was the slenderest of the connections. Certainly was a foul committed at some point in that process, whether it was that one. Hey, two second line, block, two second line, block. In the middle. Oh. 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 A little conference particularly between Ichimi and Sato. Yuki Yamamoto, as ever, to deliver the free kick. And just a single minute of additional time to be played. If you are Chingra United or you're supporting them, you'll probably feel pretty happy about this going scoreless into the second half. Because the team from Thailand has frustrated Gamba Osaka. They've made nothing easy. Though here is one last opportunity. Again, it's well defended. It has been disciplined particularly when one considers that this is uh, 
a contest between two sides who really are quite different in terms of the way their clubs operate, the infrastructure, the players that they can attract and so on. That is a job well done from Shingra United in the first 45 minutes here in Tashkent. No score. It's been frustrating for Gamba Osaka, and one suspects that's exactly what the team from Thailand wants them to feel. So, more to come in the second half. This one entirely inconclusive. We'll be back in a short while. Oh, my God. 
Welcome back to Tashkent in Uzbekistan and the Bunyodkor Stadium. It's the third round of matches in the eastern hub of the AFC Champions League. And we're having a look at Group H and we're having a look at a frustrated Gamba Osaka. Because the team from Thailand, Jingwei United, they've done things exactly as one suspects they set out to do, which is limit opportunities, trying to get this gentleman, Ekanid Panya, on the counter-attack and make it very difficult for the Japanese side. So, have Masanobu Matsunami's team regrouped successfully at the half-time interval. The context of this one is really all about the closeness of the teams in the group. John Book Motors, they sit at the top of the group with seven points from the first three games. And we'll come back to that after this substitution, which sees Somkid Cham Nasil making his way onto the pitch. Natawut Jarunbut, the player who's come off. So far, Apirat Wadarong has dealt with the challenges that have been thrown at him. Saved well from Keske Kurokawa in the first half. We begin the second half in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, as Chingrai United of Thailand take on Gamba Osaka of Japan. It is the Thai team in possession, attacking the goal to your left. Although attacking might be an overly optimistic word to use because they didn't really do a great deal of that in the first half. They are yet to register any shots on goal. For Gamba Osaka, they did have six shots in the first half, three on target. Good chance for Keske Kurokawa. But what Chingrai have done well is make it next to impossible for Leandro Pereira to do anything. He's had to play quite deep. Kai Tsukamoto with a nice ball for the substitute, Kaznari Ichimi, who crosses. Already, Leandro Pereira brought more into play in a dangerous position. Super ball, and it's in there. And finally, they have the breakthrough, and there is the man, just as we were saying, he couldn't get on the end of anything in the first half. He nearly got on the end of one, he got on the end of the second. Courtesy of Yota Sato's delivery, Leandro Pereira makes it to Chingwa United nil, Gamba Osaka one. What lovely judgment from Leandro Pereira. He did time his move well, and it's a great touch, actually. It's his first goal in the Champions League this season. And just like that, the resistance ended. Well, this will change the uh, dynamic of the contest, will it not? Chingrai United now have got to be more aggressive and offensive. And that may well afford more chances for the likes of Dai Tsukamoto and Kaznari Ichimi down the right-hand side. It's another foul. There are a fair few of those. It's another yellow card. Dissatisfied Wellington Silver brought down by uh, Wasan Honsen. So he joins uh, 
Shinapad Leo as the defenders in the book, along with Hekanit Panya. As expected, it will be Yuki Yamamoto to deliver the free kick. Up is Suga Suganuma. So, with the delivery, easy one for Apurat. Not a bad idea. Just a little out on the trajectory, looking for Ekanit, who's going to be rather lonely for much of the contest. In this case, it was uh, some kid, Sham Nasil, who he was aiming for, the substitute at half-time. It's getting a lot of attention, isn't it, at the moment, Wellington Silver. Successfully drawing a few fouls here and there. One suspects now with Wassan and Shinapat in the book, he's going to feel very tempted to just keep running at them. Ball is with the captain, Pidewat. Now it is Gamba Osaka's turn to play in a compact way and easily see that danger off for the moment. This is better from uh, Chingrai. It's more positive, but it doesn't have an end product. Looking for Bill. Effective, well, normally very effective at holding the ball up in that sort of position. Andre Pereira, score of the goal. Dai Tsukamoto. Had a lively start actually to the second half. Not quite going to make it there, but it wasn't a bad idea at all. Tsukamoto, 20 year old from Izumi. Played uh, very well for the under-23s over the last couple of years, hence his promotion to the first team last season. Sotsukamoto, who looks as expected for Ichimi. And it's a touch back from uh, Purine Sosa, unintentionally to Apurat. Could really have gone in any number of directions, but this is becoming a clearer plan and is starting to work now as the Qingrai United players are becoming increasingly troubled by those deliveries from out wide. Tanasak, Sisai. Now it's with the number 36, Shinapat. Goes to Samukran. It's where the obvious way through is that is hard to see. They've unexpectedly got it back going. Here is a good chance. Cross by. Sanukran. Ichimi does well, will surely indeed does use Tsukamoto. He's had a positive impact, Kazunari Ichimi. Out 
wide is uh, Tukamoto once more. Now possession, as it was for much of the first half, really firmly with the team in white. Ichimi's cross just went behind Pereira, but not close enough to Kurokawa. who's made over 100 appearances for the club. 29 of them this season in the league. It's his 12th game in the AFC Champions League, one of the more experienced members of the squad. Kurata. Wellington Silva. Ichimi. Sakamoto. Sakamoto plays it out to Stato, whose lovely delivery found Leandro Pereira for the goal. That's well done. Then given away after all that hard work, Yamamoto has it. And passed really to neither Leandro Pereira nor Kazanari Ichimi. A couple of wasted opportunities really from both sides. Raising his arm, wanting the ball was Ichimi. is better Ekanit well that was the first attempt from Ching Rai and it was always likely to come from him a player who's been at the club his whole career he's only 21 Ekanit Panya and he did get their only goal against John Book didn't score in the league last season 18 appearances Well, if Ching Rai do have the intention of really going after the game, as this should be comfortable, and it, it will touch on the late side there, wasn't it? From Son Kid, the substitute on Ishikawa. And uh, Shunya Suganuma is really unhappy about the ferocity of the challenge. Then Beal comes in to completely needlessly start berating him. It's all rather indecorous actually <laughs> Shunya Suganuma is booked now to be fair to some kid he does appear to be slipping and it just looks a touch on the unfortunate side there's not really any need at all for Shunya Suganuma to do that Kid nonetheless is booked. Mm. 
and most significantly and importantly it looks that Ishikawa is not too egregiously hurt chat between Kurata and the youngster Yuki Yamamoto for Shinya Suganuma really uh, needless well hang on a moment the uh, Gambo Osaka players are saying, why is it not a free kick? The referee is saying the ball was out of play. It's no wonder Suganuma was again feeling uh, somewhat irritated, shall we say. But it certainly didn't look as though some kid Cham Nasir was actually maliciously sliding in. He did seem to genuinely lose his footing. I just felt there was not really a great need for Suganuma to involve himself in someone else's state of affairs. Sato. Of course, there is a case to be argued, really, that Phil was something of the provocateur, too. it out wide so an hour gone of the contest and it's become a touch more staccato once again since the goal could well be that it is going to be one of those groups three teams might well be in the legitimate hunt for those uh, two places, well, one and a half places, if you will, because second spot, no guarantees and all that. And it could well be that Qingrai are the sort of team that comes out of this group stage having been very close and yet got very little in terms of reward. Wellington Silva. Andre Pereira, with the lightness of touch, here's Yuki Yamamoto, it's a super cross and it's in the end all rather easy for Apurat from Wellington Silver's header. Goalkeeper well positioned but that might be a kind way of looking at it from Wellington Silver's perspective. Bill, desperate for the ball. This is an opportunity, it's just run a little too far, perhaps, but he has, well, in the end, did manage to find a teammate. I was about to say he has got an option in the form of Ekanit, but by the time I started my sentence, that option had gone. What a rare moment that was, though, for Ching Rai. I was saying earlier, if Ching Rai decide to really start to go with this more aggressively, they might bring on Felipe Amorim. They choose to bring on the very experienced Akarawin Sawadi as well. And 
he is a very useful substitute as we look back at this chance for Bill. Looking across, rather <laughs> glaring across, should we say, was Ekanit after that. He is somebody with an eye for goal, it's his instinct, it's his training. He tends to go for the net more than for the pass, that's why he scored 18 goals in the league this season. But perhaps not the finest display of his work in the penalty area there. With the wax. Lots of nearly moments where they're just not quite finding the final ball. Maybe the last but one ball in a lot of cases. Good at that. Yamamoto. Wellington Silva. Again, just not quite there for Leandro Pereira. What a nice flick. Now, an opportunity outnumbering Gamba Osaka. Ekanit with the pass, and the shot has gone wide. He bangs his hand down on the turf at Sivakorn. Diatra Kun, the player who scored the winning goal against Tampanese. Just enough was done by Shunya Suganuma, one suspects. A good ball from Ekanit. And it is well defended, actually, by the 31-year-old. Goalkeeper decides to go back. Bill trying to avoid the attentions of Kurokawa. Which he has not done. And a relieving of the pressure. And there was, for the first time, genuine pressure. Kim Yong Won. Out to Tsukamoto, who's looked lively and full of potential, actually. Leandro Pereira. Kurata. Spots Tsukamoto, <laughs> who doesn't do quite what he was planning. He's played for the national team at youth level. Purat Warawong was very much a first choice for the team in the season before last, the season before the one that's just finished in Thailand. But uh, really play a great deal in the campaign that's just concluded. Only nine appearances, 20 fewer than the previous season. We have got a couple of goalkeepers really jostling for the number one spot on the bench. Soren on Anuin. The goalkeeper who played 22 times in the league. At the moment, it is Apurat. At least in the Champions League. Sato. Yamamoto 
plays the ball to Tsukamoto. Just at times, it is the end product, isn't it, for Tsukamoto? Gets himself into good positions and is very often just a final ball away from something very special. Now, here is a quite expected change. It's an attacking one to bring on Felipe Amorim and also at Karawin Sawadis. So they really are now going for this and also Paradon Hatapon coming on. There's a defensive change, 19-year-old coming on there. Meanwhile, having gone close early on in the game, Kesuke Kurokawa has gone off. It looks as though Kosuke Onose was coming on. And waiting to come on as well is Kohei Okuno. And if it is Okuno on for Wellington Silver, then that is very much a consolidatory decision, one suspects. And there is Kosuke Onose. Jorge Okuno, versus Thailand, clever young midfielder. Made his Asian Champions League debut in the final stages, last quarter of an hour of the win against Tampanis. Now Yuki Yamamoto with the corner kick. Yamamoto, Bill holding him off, and uh, rather cleverly just keeping possession. So Sanukran. Tinjong, the uh, player who has gone off for Paradon Matabon. And it is uh, Chinapat who's gone off for Felipe Amorim. Just being told to uh, mind himself there by the referee was Yota Sato. Graduate of Meiji University. One of the very oldest institutions in Japan. It was founded 140 years ago. Well, Tanasak Sisai, we just had a look at there for a moment, the vice-captain, the 31-year-old, what uh, an impact on his career moving to Chingrai has been, what an impact it's had, rather. He never really did manage to settle at a club since he left Club Dayeng Rayong United in 2010, five clubs over six different spells, And uh, suddenly he's become really irreplaceable and settled. And uh, Ching Rai. Sato goes back to the goalkeeper. Andrew Pereira fighting too physically to recapture possession, bringing down uh, Sivakon. Calculated, shall we say. 
by the 29-year-old from Arasatuba in Sao Paulo State. Well, you just never know, there might well be a, a chance here and there for Chingrai, especially now as they've brought on the likes of Felipe Amorim and Akarawin Sawadi. He is an effective substitute, the number 16. Scored a lot of goals having come from the bench. Really potting this one carefully, and it almost worked. Flag up, though, against Brunier Sosa. But that wasn't a million miles away. It's taken with great authority by Ishikawa. And certainly he has had a fine game. Very difficult when you are an absolute backup goalkeeper as we look back at the offside against Brunier Sosa. And I'll say. Peter Watt. Now well, here's some space for the substitute, Paradon the Patapon. And just having momentarily a little more openness to it as Sivakorn explores his options, receives it back, trying to go all the way through and really hoping. Really hoping for the penalty was Ekanit Panya. Well, this will tell us a great deal. And it will tell us that he knew exactly what he wanted to happen there. And he rather made it happen, didn't he? <laughs> Moves it to Yamamoto. Yamamoto again. Kim. Yota Sato, who's lovely cross, found Leandro Pereira for a well taken goal, the only goal thus far as we enter the final stages of this contest and it remains a contest Kalasaxi <laughs> side brought down Keeper, and that was just a momentary hint of anxiety at the back for Gamba Osaka. Even the bird song <laughs> is becoming a little more fractured and staccato to match the tempo of the contest. Of hardy esque moment of pathetic fallacy. It is 
apparently an absolute paradise for migratory birds, Tashkent, which you can probably tell. It was one of the great migratory routes for people as well along the Silk Road for many hundreds of years. Here's Leandro Pereira, and it's behind. And he's really irritated with himself about that too, the Brazilian. Kelty had a chance to create a clear opportunity. Difficulty is Dai Tsukamoto. Referee encouraging Tsukamoto to leave the field of play, which he's now going to do. Had a positive performance today. Young Tsukamoto only played six times in the league this season. The Gamba also have had their matches restricted by a complicated beginning to the season where they did have a fair few games postponed due to a number of coronavirus cases. Yamamoto to take this corner kick. Yeah. Oh. Good jump from Brunei oh. Sosa and uh, Apirat not troubled at all, really seeking to get the game restarted quickly. And it has rebounded almost, almost, almost to the substitute, Felipe Amorim. Just a foot or two away from that one. Ishikawa again doing his job, and he's quietly done just about everything spot on in this game, the 28-year-old. Must be a real challenge when you are such a perennial backup goalkeeper to come in and perform. But that's the advantage of having a player like Ishikawa in the team, is that he is used to doing that when necessary. Paladon Patapon has maybe just added a little more threat down the left flank since coming on. It's greater impetus to the performance of Ching Rai now. Ekanit. His pass to uh, Sivakorn created the most clear cut chance that they've had all match. A beautiful cross there. Flag up anyway. Certainly not over, though. A couple more changes. One of them very much uh, a holding decision. Whenever you see Yosuke Deguchi, he'll come on and battle for the ball and uh, irritate and interrupt. And then the emergence of Patrick to replace the scorer of the only goal of the match thus far, Leandro Pereira. His impact has been brief but significant. And Dai Tsukamoto, who uh, definitely 
felt some uh, discomfort and has had to come off. He's been replaced by Idaguchi. Now here is Akaro in Sawadi. Looked like he was going to come on much earlier. And uh, Jonata Vezura has also come on. Hitiawat has uh, handed the armband over to uh, Tanasak. Ekanit also making uh, his way off the field of play. Well, the appearance of Kano in Sawadi is more perhaps some hope to the supporters of Chingrai because, as I mentioned earlier, he has a good record of coming off the bench and uh, changing the game. Slotting in behind the front line. And a sack. Yes, too late there. Foul by Yota Sato. It's clever play from Felipe Amorim to draw that foul rather. A few poachers in and around Kei Ishikawa's goal. Can Sivakorn, Teatrakun, find the quality delivery? And again, it's Ishikawa out to clear, and he does it well. And he's going to come again, and he's done it again, but there's a chance for a hit, and it goes over the top. The substitute, Paradon, Adapon. never scored for the club and just for a moment there he must have had visions of absolute glory but Ishikawa did enough would have been something utterly spectacular to have beaten all of the bodies there once again Kei Ishikawa keeping goal with authority Stay close, stay close, stay close, stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. He's not really had uh, the sort of opportunity and freedom he's accustomed to domestically. Foul <laughs> by Karawin on Koske Onose. Still, Chingarai know that just one moment, one crucial moment, one well-taken chance, one well-delivered ball will transform the group. If Gamba Osaka manage to hold on, then they will go to seven points. They will be behind Chonbuk Motors simply on goal difference and quite substantial goal difference too. And that would then see Chingrai United four points behind the uh, 
qualification place and the possible qualification place that is second. Get an equalising goal here. And it remains just a point between them and Gamba Osaka. Very big few minutes actually coming up for the team from Thailand in this Champions League campaign. Just as was the case against John Book Motors, they have very nearly matched the bigger side. But nearly is a, a cruel word in a sport that ultimately is binary in its outcome. Well, like all sport is. Felipe Amorim to chase, he's done well. And actually what he needed there was a bit of a read of that from his teammates. Quite an effort, did the best he could with it. And how much additional time are oh, United going to be afforded? Irritated with himself, Kazanadi Ichimi has given away a free kick in a position that could trouble Kei Ishikawa. Haradon sends the ball back to Sivakorn. Four minutes, that will do nicely for Chingra United. Okay. And that is in the end really rather inconsequential from Bill. Is there going to be another heroic moment from Sivakon? He's the one that gave them that three points against Tampanese, who are very much at the bottom of the group at the moment. Next up for these sides in a few days' time on the 4th of July, Tampanese Rovers will take on. John Book Motors, Gamble, Osaka. We have the uh, reverse fixture against Chingrai. So they're going to have to do it all again. In just around 72 hours' time. And the group finishes with the meeting between John Book Motors and Gamba Osaka. And for Chimura United, they will play Tampanese. This takes us to the halfway mark of the group. Plenty more football to come in this very condensed eastern hub of the AFC Champions League 2021. Time still remains. Felipe Amorim. A hopeful ball. That's all it was. Watching on. Matsunobu Matsunami, who probably one suspects knew this was going to be this sort of awkward, tricky game. Ball nearly it's behind for a corner. Very important touch, that. Not the first time, actually, that Suganuma has put himself in exactly the right place. He did it with the chance. 
for Sibacorn. And it is Sibacorn who is going to be taking this corner kick, which may well be the last attack of the contest. Sibacorn's ball comes in. Still, they hope. Tomkin headed away. Thumping it was Brunner Sosa. He's got a, a fortunate rebound. Felipe Amorim still goes uh, almost. Couldn't quite get beyond Yota Sato. Oh, that's a frustrating one for Chingrai. Suddenly, they really are alive and attacking in these last few seconds. Again, it's well defended, but they might hit. Is it going to rebound and be put in? Would you believe that? Chingrai <laughs> United have stolen a point. And it is absolutely the last kick of the entire match. It never looked safe. And it was the poacher, the predator, the man who scored 18 goals in the league. Now he finds the target for the fourth time in his AFC Champions League career. Bill, right place, right time, right finish, and for Chingrai United, right result. Ishikawa looks fuming. They are jubilant. You know what? It ain't over till it's over. And it's over now. And it's a one-all draw. Hosima Amancio, also known as Bill, gets the stoppage time goal that makes it at the conclusion of this very tense and tight game. Shingra United won, Gamba Osaka won. The Gamba Osaka players trudge off. They cannot believe they haven't won this. Never, ever count out Shingra United. They're still in contention in Group H. And it's been a great pleasure having your company for this contest. Until next time, I've been Ollie Holkbent, and goodbye.